What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another Madden 22 Ultimate Team video guys What to do with Madden 22 Ultimate Team right now It is Sunday, you guys know the drill Before we get started, guys download the Halftime app Social media mixed with sports, it's fire Um, your boy's on it, I'm verified Go hit me with that follow button, Halftime Monty Also, 100k giveaway tomorrow, every single Monday Subscribe, comment 100k down below 1 mil coin giveaway if we hit 3k by March 21st So subscribe if you are new And that's pretty much it, let's get into it man Don't want to do too long with that Social in the description below if you want to follow the socials. Let's get it. So we always start with the missions, guys. We have house rules, we have ultimate season, and we have Super Bowl. If you're not level 50, you gotta get to level 50. Let's go and look at it. Daily objectives are always here. So you want to get these daily objectives done every single day. Pop a pack, get a player, 500 coins. Do a so do a exchange, uh, do a so uh, set, do do the exchange for the superstars. Super super easy. And then the rest is just basically playing games and things like that. And you get a bunch of XP every single day, and you get a midfield if you complete the whole set. So uh, check that out. Get your level up. Also, Super Bowl has some missions. This is a way to make a bunch of coins and a way to obviously uh, get your level up. So let's talk about it. Let's go over to Super Bowl. I accidentally clicked on campaign. It always glitches out and does that. But here we go. The Super Bowl XP objectives. Guys, playing weekend league, soul battles, house rules, solo challenges, things like that is going to get this all done for you. You get Super Bowl predictors and you get XP doing it. 3K, 2K, 5K. As you can clearly see, this means a lot. This is very much worth it. You want to get this done. Also, the Super Bowl predictors are literally free coins. So you want to get this done. So, um, doing the house rules and the weekend league is probably the best way to make some coins right now so let's talk about it um let's go over to the house rules and let's talk about the rewards you get one free 95 and i think 386 or 286 pluses um let's go to it so you get one to 95 ncat you get 186 plus another 86 plus and you get something at 40 286 pluses so you actually get you actually get four 86 pluses so that's a huge coin method take those four 86 pluses you save them right Get them all done. Get the 40 wins, 486 pluses. Plus, you get your Super Bowl predictor tokens from get from grinding the game. And you go to Super, you go Soul Challenges. So let's talk about this. Go to Soul Challenges. Go over to Super Bowl Pass. And you get a bunch of eight. You get two 86 pluses. You also get a free 94 Percy Harvin. So get on it. So a free 95, a free 94, and four or a six 86 pluses. From grinding the house rules and the solos and a bunch of Super Bowl predictor tokens to go with it. Totally worth it, obviously. Then, um, you're going to go over... I'm going to talk about the Super Bowl challenges and all those things first. But, obviously guys, you're going to take all those 86 pluses. And you're going to go over to the Super Bowl exchanges. And you're going to grind up all the exchanges. Get as many 95s as you can. Or 97s if you can get a 97. Um, you can pull a 95 out of those packs. Those 86 pluses. You can pull a 90. You can pull a 92. You can pull all 86s. You know, things like that. Um, but you go over to Super Bowl Elite Fantasy Sets. You start from the 86s. You work your way up and just try and get 95s. Easy coins, guys. Because they're giving it to you for free. And honestly, those exchanges are not hard at all. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much a big coin making method right there. How to get a 97 for cheap or a 95 for basically free. Uh, Super Bowl predictors. We talked about what to put your predictors on. Rams winning. I wouldn't touch these right here. I would probably say over 49, but I'm not going to touch it personally. Rams winning by 10. I would definitely not do Bengals by 10, but if you want to do Rams by 10, I might do it. I personally think the Rams are going to kill them. Um, definitely do not touch this one. Touch this one. Maybe touch this one. I'm not sure on it. I would touch Stafford. I wouldn't stay. I would stay away from that. Stay away from both of these. Beckham, I think, will get the first touchdown. Stafford or Cup MVP. Gonna put money. Uh, my predictors on both. Um, I would do all heads. Wouldn't touch either of these. Do all heads, no tails. Safety might put one on there. Uh, OT will not put any on there. So uh, put your predictors on there. It is free coins if you get at least one of them right. So do it. Why not? Um, sets right now. Players that are very expensive. For example, Ronnie Lott. He's a legend. You really can't do his. Trevon Diggs, for example. Debo Samuel in the harvest. You know, things like that. If you guys see a player in the auction that is going for a lot and they're you're able to grind exchanges to get their card, their lower card, obviously, like 92, 91 Trevon Diggs or 92 in the team of the week. If he's still expensive, he's probably not. But I'm just saying players like that. Um, Grind the exchanges and get the card and sell them. Make your 100K, whatever it's going for. Um, team of the year exchange, I would stay away from, really. Playoffs, stay away from. Um, free training, I guess we could talk about. Most feared 81 pluses or 80 pluses. Harvest 81 plus. 
Zero Chill 78 plus, Team of the uh, Team Affinity 88 overall for um, not for free, but 88 overall for exchanges. Um, you know things like that to get. Oh, the Team of the Week is probably one of the best ones. The 85 exchange to the 92. Praying you pull the 92, get some nice free training. Um, also training wise, guys. A uh, bunch of free training right now. You have the 94 Percy Harvin. I'm not sure what he quick sells for, but you also have the 95 overall um, Gridiron Forge player. You have this player right here, the 93. You have a Team of the Year player. Obviously, no one's really going to quick sell a Team of the Year player, but you guys get the drill. Um, you guys don't need any of these players. Quick sell them, why not? And uh, Souls to play, Super Bowl Pass, Team of the Year, Playoffs Kickoff, Gridiron Forge, Legends, um, Campus Hero Final Exams. Rising stars if you have been grinding these and That's pretty much it for solos But those are all the souls you should be playing and like I said before soul battles if you want to make soul battles Soul battles are kind of useful useless this year not good rewards at all, but um, House rules and weekend league. So we talked about training. We talked about XP. We talked about what to play what to grind for and Kind of coin methods a little bit coin methods really uh, the sets, the grinding, and things like that. Those are the best coin methods in the game right now. Market is viable. P players are viable. Uh, training is cheap. 95 is the best train to buy. And if you guys want to grind up this reroll right here, you know, it is risky. I'm not going to come out here and say it's not. It is risky. But you could pull some heat. And uh, guys, honestly, that's pretty much it for this video. That's pretty much it. A lot of things to do with grinding. A lot of grinding this week. What to do this week is to grind. If you guys did enjoy this video, man, smash that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Go download the Halftime app. Thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much it. Peace.